Hey guys, Wolverine here on The Division with the weekly vendor reset. I'm just going to go all around the vendors and highlight the important pieces of weapons, gear and equipment for you so you don't have to. It's some good stuff, so we're going to get right into it. I hope you enjoy the video. Please leave a like and a comment and if you're new, subscribe. Let's get right into it. At the base of operations, the weapons vendor. He has a very nice high velocity magazine, critical hit chance, critical hit damage and rate of fire. If you want burst damage, this is the mod for you, so check that out. At the gear vendor base of operations, a nice prototype performance mod for all you frontline shield ballistic firearms people out there. Ballistic shield damage 3.5% extra. And I am going to be buying four of these because you're increasing your damage output. So what I mean by this is that's 16% shield damage on top of if you go for assault shield, you could get up to 36% damage increase. Now that is just brilliant and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just going to, I'm just going to buy four of them right now. At the special equipment vendor. There are a couple items. Uh, Rhino Special, which is the new, like, revolver on steroids pistol with a couple mods you can add onto it. Nice pistol, got a very nice talent, responsive, less than 10 meters, 10% 10 damage increase. When you're using a pistol, you're going to be pretty close to him. For all you people who are still hunting the converted USC, the new SMG added in 1.5 patch, it's in the special equipment vendor. Nice damage roll, that's really nice, 19.3k, and to compare it, it's quite strong compared to my F MP5 ST. The talents are iffish, to be honest. Ambusher, which is always in the third slot, increase your damage by 10% against targets in cover. Could be nice if you do catch people in cover. Ferocious, best talent for PvE, but unfortunately, it's really hard to meet this talent due to electronic requirements with the firearms and stamina it's really hard to hit that if you're running a tank or a damage attacker or you, it's one of those types where you need to be balanced really to be honest but if you can make it work go for it and determined is not the best skill again high electronics i'd roll that away and go for something like responsive or deadly or maybe even brutal depending on your playstyle. It, it's it's a good it's a good I might buy one of these if I manage to grind enough Phoenix credits I might be able to purchase one of these because it just to give it a go see if it's any good because I have yet to be able to find one there's a very nice vest of the nomad armor 3100 just less than 200 off the armor cap so maybe you could re-roll that and get a little bit more armor out of it it's almost at the maximum armor rating Health on kill when you match it with the two piece, 15% health on kill, that's 90% straight away. That, that, that's a nice roll, to be honest. I'd probably say you, it, it, it's a really nice roll. If, if you're still looking for a very good piece of the Nomad, this chest piece is really good. Another D3 FNC knee pads. This is the second week in a row, which the sound the knee pads version. Damage to elites. Uh, no enemy armor damage and no burn resistance. Now, I could settle for damage to elite and go for roll, try reroll enemy armor damage, but I always like rolling with armor on my major attribute on my knee pads. So, if you can sacrifice a little bit of armor and you're desperate for these front line, I'd say they are worth it. You just re-roll one of these skills for enemy armor. Nice prototype performance mod for all you Seeker Mine people who are running Firecrest. 4% uh, extra Seeker Mine damage. By four of them, that's a lot more damage, especially if you're running Firecrest. Not my favorite prototype mod, but it's there if you like the Seeker Mine. Extended magazine, not the best magazine size, but if you want the critical hit chance and rate of fire, it's there. If you're after that type for an SMG, bigger magazine size, more critical hit chance and unload the bullets faster then it may be good especially for the MP7 if that's what you want for the burst damage. The sound a large suppressor, critical hit damage and headshot damage and a little bit of stability. This is a gun specially designed for snipers with the talent disciplines. When you kill a target your next shot will be a guaranteed critical hit. 
and if you want to do a bit more damage, critical hit damage and headshot damage, then dislodge pressure will go really nice with a sniper with disciplined. And again, this will go well, the MK4, M5, A2 scope 15 times. Optimal range, critical hit chance and critical hit damage. That could go well with your sniper as well if you're running a talent disciplined with it. At the crypt safe house, the weapons vendor is selling a high velocity magazine, 7.5% critical hit chance, 10.5% magazine size and 4% critical hit damage. Again, one of those magazines for burst damage. Not the best mod, I always prefer a little bit more magazine size to be honest and sacrifice a little bit of critical hit chance but again it's there if you want the burst damage for an SMG. At the crypt safe house the weapons vendor is selling a high velocity magazine, 7.5% critical hit chance, 10.5% magazine size and 4% critical hit damage. Again one of those magazines for burst damage. Not the best mod, I always prefer a little bit more magazine size to be honest and sacrifice a little bit of critical hit chance but again it's there if you want the burst damage. At the last call safe house, the weapons vendor is selling a pro red dot sight, critical hit damage and critical hit chance with the optimal range. Again for those people with SMGs who are rolling with wanting a bit more critical hit damage, there's the mod for you. At the meat locker safe house, this weapons vendor is selling a very nice compensator with 13.5 stability, headshot damage and critical hit chance. Very nice for assault rifles, assault rifles give a very big kick in stability and when you're aiming for the head and a bit of critical hit chance it's quite nice for burst damage really. So it's there if you need it. A nice, a very nice one, I think I will be purchasing one for my assault rifle. For all you electronic people out there at the cabin safe house, the gear vendor is selling a nice prototype electronics mod with electronics and skill power. Double whammy there guys if you want to really boost your skill power then the mod's there for you. At the Kerman station safe house, couple interesting weapons. First thing, a police M4 assault rifle, sustained and brutal, two very nice talents which goes with assault rifle, 22% enemy armor damage and the damage is okay, not the best for an assault rifle but for all you M4 lovers out there who like the fast assault rifle round per minute, managing it with a base stability then I'd say it's a good it's a good assault rifle for if you're a fan of the fast, assault, fast rate assault rifles. I'd say roll determined away due to the electronics a bit too high and maybe go for something like destructive or something like that. It, it, it's a really good like attack kind of weapon so and a Omega rifle suppressor. Headshot damage a little bit low you can go around 17, 17.5 it's nice to get that critical hit chance and a bit of stability. Not the best roll headshot damage a lot higher you can get. You will gain the 16% headshot damages on level 33's so I'd say give it a miss, but if you're really desperate, it's there for you. At the Wolves Den safe house, the weapons vendor is selling a couple of interesting items. Military MK46 18.3, which is okay. Damage to outer cover, a little bit low for my liking. Uh, you can get them around 13, 14%. Very nice talents, deadly, unforgiving, and sustained. And to be honest, I probably want to roll deadly away for. A light machine gun, I'll probably want to focus on destructive or maybe brutal. Or maybe I could roll sustained away and hopefully go for that ferocious, which it's a big ask, but sustained is a very good talent. You kill people and you recover health, it's it's there. And when you're running a two piece nomad, 15%, that's 21%. It, it, it's a good chunk of your health recovered on every kill, so. I'll leave that one up to you. The talents are pretty solid, not the best, but three very good talents and yeah, pretty much. High velocity magazine, another good burst damage magazine, critical hit chance, reload speed and magazine size, a little bit extra, a few bullets, a bit faster reload speed and a good high critical hit chance percentage for that high strong burst critical hit damage chance, so it's there. It's uh, 
I've never been more on for burst damage, but it, it, it's it's good fast. Keep on um, unloading a lot of bullets. At Camp Hudson, possible purchase of the week for credits. I've, I'm actually going to say for normal credits, this is probably the best weapon you can buy. Uh, I haven't checked Dark Zone yet, but we'll get into that. The weapons vendor is selling a hunting M44. Now, they're not as good as the M700 snipers anymore because the, the, they match the same damage and they have more moddable slots. But three very nice talents. Balanced, which basically when you fire, you actually recovers quicker so you can fire again, but it's a bolt action, so you won't really notice a difference. Prepared, damage is increased by 15% when more than 30 meters from the target. So when you're sniping, there's a chance you can be sniping that far away. And wait for it, ferocious. The dream talent you want on that third slot is ferocious because of the requirements for electronics. It's just so high when you're just running a tanky or a, a damage player. So I'd say roll balance away and go for brutal. I think it's it's a really nice talent. Um, I'm, I'm sold by ferocious, so and I'm probably going to roll balance away for brutal and then I'm going to get a nice possible increase of what? 15, 25, 37% increase when I go with Brutal and I make sure I'm far away. That's a really good damage output with headshot damage on top and 114k. That's a really nice sniper and I am a big fan of the M44 so I think I will be buying one. Quick release magazine. 27.5 reload speed, 4% critical hit damage, and 2.5% critical hit chance. Not the best critical hit chance roll in my opinion, but if you're rolling something with like the Pakan or the Famous, then it's good critical hit damage and a fast reload. So it'll go really good with OMGs to be honest, because you need a really good reload speed with them. At the checkpoint 53rd street, for all you sticky bomb damage PvP Dark Zone players out there, Prototype Performance Mod 4% sticky bomb damage, 4 of them combined, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. So, I've heard the sticky bomb damage is ridiculous at the moment, so a lot of people are using it again. So, if you are running with that, this performance mod is best for you. At the 46th Street checkpoint, he's selling some really good stuff, this vendor is. He is selling a Navy MP5N. The damage isn't the best compared to my submachine gun, but the talents is what makes it interesting. Deadly, which is best for SMG. Unforgiving, which uh, the weaker you get, the more your damage output increases. So when you're on that like, third, that final bar of health, 25% increase. And destructive, so three really nice talents which will go really well with an SMG. MP5 is not really my style. I'm saying that I'm using a MP5 ST, but uh, the normal MP5s not my style. But the talents are really good. So if you are looking for a solid SMG, that weapon may be suited for you. Also, prototype performance mod for you frontline people out there: ballistic shield damage resilience. Now, I'll be purchasing a couple of these because 4.5% Ballistic Shield Damage Resilience. Your shield is practically your shield. It protects you from dying, taking damage. So, it's always good having a couple of those mods. Combine them with the vendor at the base of operations with those damage mods. You could really customize a really good defensive or aggressive frontline Ballistic Shield strategy. So, I'm going to buy... A couple of them. I might buy one actually because I've already got one and then uh, a couple damage ones. And also a extended magazine. Now you usually are going to be wanting to get about 110% magazine size. You'll be gain you gain these magazine sizes on item level 33. But for SMG people out there, magazine size, critical hit chance, and rate of fire is really nice it's one of those type of three you want i'd say maybe critical damage compared to rate of fire but 
it, it depends what you run with. If you're running with like an MP7, you don't need rate of fire. But if you're running with, I don't know, the MP5 and you want to increase your rounds per minute a bit more, or the UMP maybe, then that's the magazine for you. At the 40 second street checkpoint, a couple more extra items. The Super 90, a little, a little bit of a lesser damage roll. I usually want that a little bit higher, but you gotta compare it with your firearms. I mean, I've got a, I've got a Super 90, which is giving about 105k damage, so 6k more. Predatory, deadly, and Metacalus. Um You only got eight mag, eight bullets in the mag, so. If you kill a target, there's a chance you get a refill, which is pretty nice, especially with a shotgun. Predatory, really nice when you want to get health recovery over over time, and deadly. Deadly, not the best for shotguns, so I'd say roll that for brutal. Or I'd say probably roll Metacalus for ferocious, if possible. So, if I had the option after the three, I'd say roll deadly away and try and get that brutal, because with shotguns, you want that brutal headshot. Spec Ops pack for all you frontline people out there. It's firearm base, resourceful. All healing applied to your, you is also applied to your skill object. So when you're rolling with a shield and you use a medipack or someone heals you or you heal yourself, your shield will get healed also. So you got firearms, you got resourceful. I say roll up major attributes away for maybe skill power to boost a bit more health on your shield or armor and ammo capacity. I'd say if you could roll that away for burn resistance, but you want to get rid of that signature ability resource, so I'd say either armor or skill power, maybe armor. Okay, at the 34th Street checkpoint, for all you old lover fans who loved the first wave M1A, could it make a possible comeback? Not on this patch, unfortunately, due to the, the police MK and SVD being able to balance and challenge the M1A, but this one has some nice talents. Accuracy, which obviously, if you've got really good accuracy on the M1A, it can combat with the other uh, semi automatic snipers. Destructive, really, probably about my third favourite talent. Destructive is really good because everyone you're going against now is has armour, PvE, or PvP. So, destructive is a must. And vicious. Critical hit chance is increased by 10% while having more than two segments of health. As a sniper, you're not going to get hit a lot. There's a critical hit chance, but I'd say roll that away for either brutal or ferocious. Ferocious, best chance because obviously the skill requirements, but if you get brutal, settle for brutal because as a sniper, headshot damage is key. At the 33rd Street checkpoints. Prototype performance mod, pulse critical hit chance, always nice to run in the dark zone when you're pulsing a scan. Add a couple of these on, pulse critical hit chance increases that, that critical hit chance. At the 5th Avenue checkpoint, a couple of items. Oh, this fell off the, back of the, the military RPK-74 is wrong with brutal, sustained and predatory. Damage is a bit low to be honest, especially it's the same make as the pack ant and the damage is a bit low. Some really nice health recovery, predatory and sustained, double, wha double whammy health recovery there and some nice headshot damage. The talents are really nice, but oh, you'll be back. I'll just want to compare to, uh, like, for example, with the Pacan. Big damage increase there, that's almost 2.5k damage difference with another extra 1% damage out of cover. I already got sustained, I rolled up, I got destructive and ferocious, so the Pacan is the most highly respected LMG category with the RPKs and you can get that from the advanced weapons dealer, so I'd say give the RPK a miss to be honest. Dark Zone credits again, it's hard to find where Pacan is normal credits. It's a no-brainer, nice talents, but it's just not worth it. Uh, 552 Hollow Sight Tan, critical hit chance, very nice. Stability and headshot damage, really nice. Again, would be nice for an SMG and maybe assault rifle. But, um, yeah, really, two really good stats and the best stability if your gun has a little bit of a kick. At the 31st Street checkpoint, I better. Take a look. Super 90, 
a little bit of extra damage increase with the brutal, which is you really want with a shotgun. And determined on the third talent roll, killing a target reduces skill cooldowns by 7.5%. These type of skills are really high in the electronics, so it's really nice when you get them in the third slot. So say I roll away trained for destructive or metaclus, depending on how you roll with, but because you get that brutal and a free electronic skill, I say it would be worth the purchase. Prototype performance mod, sticky bomb exploding radius by 6% and the 5F2 hollow sight, critical hit chance, headshot damage and optimal range. We covered a one just before with stability, I would prefer that one to this one. At the 40 second East Street checkpoint, yeah. I'm your one -stop. we're selling a prototype performance mod, 7% support station duration for all you so support for all you support station people out there and the tyrant suppressor with critical hit chance 7% optimal range and stability I don't like optimal range on critical hit weapons especially on SMGs because you're not going to be shooting for long range it's close up so it's okay if you want a critical hit chance suppressor then there you have it at the east 53rd street checkpoint an interesting vendor indeed I had to go through this a couple times just to make sure uh, scratch the military G36, an old favourite, it's been nerfed, not as good as it used to be, so don't even bother. The Gunslinger Gloves, savage. Now oh, that's your dream talent you want on your gloves on high end. 7% critical hit chance against targets out of cover. Assault rifle damage, critical hit damage, and critical hit chance. Now, I would roll assault rifle damage away to the whatever is your favorite weapon for me example i do use an smg a lot or for people who like the lmg with damage out of cover or if you're feeling a bit brave for pve i'd say roll it to damage against elites but it's really nice especially when you have critical hit chance already rolled into it and then the talent critical hit chance so really nice set of gloves probably the best clothing gear of the week out of all the high end and teals and all that kind of stuff so I'd suggest you purchase one of them if you still haven't got that good savage roll pair of gloves. Prototype performance mod, ballistic shield damage resilience, I f can't remember. Again for all you frontline people out there with the ballistic shield damage mod we also have the ballistic shield damage resilience so if attack isn't your thing and you want to be more defense and more tanky I'd say get a couple more of these mods at the weapons vendor safe zone and um, the dark zone he is selling a very nice M700 tactical it has ferocious destructive and elevated now ferocious it's really hard to meet the electronics requirement but if you can reach if you can reach it then this weapon will be brilliant because you can get destructive. I say roll weight elevated for brutal. You've got a really good god roll there. So if I'm going to do any dark zone this week, I'm going to be saving it up for this gun because the talents are really nice. I'll just roll away that elevated for brutal and I've got a really nice M700 tactical. So maybe worth investing in, guys. And finally, at the safe room weapon mod vendor this guy sound a really nice tyrant suppressor with critical hit chance headshot damage and stability it's really nice critical hit chance and headshot damage two really good ones to roll with a suppressor so if you need an smg it's there for you okay guys so that's the end of that episode i hope you've enjoyed it please give it a like it took me over an hour to get the footage and then a good couple hours to put it all together. So I hope it works out. I hope it was enjoyable and I hope it was good intel for you guys. Let me know if you'd like me to do more. And yeah, more videos above guys. Uh, check them out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.